Hey guys, what's going on? This is Alex back again for another comic book review video, and this one was actually requested. And since it was another manga, I figured, you know, I should pick this up and show everybody what I think of this manga series, comic series, whatever, I'm going to call them the same thing, because comics and manga pretty much are the exact same thing. As you can see, there's a giant gaping hole in the back behind me in the manga section. I do have manga in other places, that's not the only manga I've got. But uh, as you can tell by the very festive hat, we're going to be talking about the Legend of Zelda manga series. I'm going to be going one by one through those because, I mean, technically they're different, but I just want to grace through all of them. So we have one video touching on all of them. So if you're interested in reading them, you'll get the idea from this video. So, if you know anything about my old channel, Ocarina Hero, my biggest, most popular videos were all about my timeline videos, which, all you Zelda fans, yes, I'm going to be making a new one soon. I've been putting it off for a long time. I know that, but making this video might get me all wound up and I might do it. Wound up as in like angry because uh, if you like Zelda, you should know it's a really abusive relationship we have with Nintendo because uh, they don't really care about you very much. So I'm really going to go into that in the other video, but um, if you haven't noticed, like I said, I really liked Zelda. I don't know. I don't understand anymore how I feel about it. That's why I've been putting it off. But anyway, so if you even see any other videos, I got a Master Sword hanging right next to me right here. I have a Hylian shield over my bed. You should be able to know that I like Zelda. So if I complain about any of the mangas in here, it's not because I don't like Zelda at all. I really do. It's why I got these. And uh, for the same reasons, you probably are um, wanting to read them. It's the same reasons I wanted to read them. Now, so, jumping right in, because this is not about Zelda the franchise. This is about the mangas that they make. Uh, or made. I don't really know. Because, honestly, they might still be making some. I've only got um, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of them. But um, one by one, I'm just going to jump through them. And this is in no particular order. This is seriously just the order I have them on my shelf. Which, honestly... I'd have to go back and check, but I think it was supposed to be the order that I decided was in their correct timeline. Mm, even that word gives me the chills, but <laughs> whatever. So, um, this first one here is actually, I think, the latest one I picked up, which was in the clearance somewhere, like, two years ago. Um, and it was after the fact where I was like, I'm done with Zelda, I'm done, I'm done. But the thing is, it was the manga of my favorite Zelda game, A Link to the Past, and I wanted to read it. Even though I think I had actually read it online before, they just can't, you know, torrent it or whatever the heck it was, I don't, it wasn't torrenting, but whatever, I had read it, but it was a physical copy of it, and I already have these, so I kind of wanted it, so, um, this one looks a little different than the others, I say looks as in, even though I believe, yes, it's the same artists, I think it's two women from the last time I checked this, it's not really that big of a deal, story and art by Akira Himek. Himekawa, I might have messed that up, but I'm assuming that's actually the same person then. So that's interesting, but uh, anyway, it's the same person doing all of the Zelda books, and what I find really cool is each game, even if there's a part one, part two, I kind of keep looking over because some of them are in part one, part two, the art style will change based on what game it is, so it's like a different legend entirely. It's really cool how that manages to go through, but anyway, this particular style, I'm just kind of like, okay, what was he about? Um, maybe it's intended to reflect the artistic style that you see mainly in um, the older Zelda art for the games, which is pretty cool that it's even reflected, bringing that back up again, that's pretty neat. Um, the story itself, if you've played that game, is... Um, a little fabricated because that game is kind of um, exploring a lot. Uh, there's a ton of dungeons, ton of stuff to do, but there's not much story to it. So this is trying to pull as much story out of it that was there and then connect the dots and add more to it, add more characters that weren't even in the game. So um, if you don't like that kind of thing, it's going to be like um, playing, like somebody else playing with your old toys and uh, being kind of rough with them and changing the way that you did it originally, you might not like that. Honestly, this was one of them that I was just like, Meh, it's okay. I didn't really dig this one, it was okay. 
Um, but the thing is, it was my favorite game, and if I had these, like I said, I gotta have that one. Honestly, this next pair is one of my favorites. I'm just gonna go one at a time here. The Ocarina of Time. Um, this is part one, and part two is right here. And I'm not saying this is one of my favorites just because the game itself, I think, is really fun. Which, honestly, a lot of people for the longest time were saying it was like the greatest game of all time, and calm down, guys. It's not that great. It's really cool, but it's not that great. Um, and I would have said that in the middle of me making my videos, in the middle of the Zelda hype. So, I'll talk more about that later if I really want to. But anyway, not about the game, about the books. The translation from, once again, what story existed from Ocarina of Time, and pulling out a little bit more and making it an actual story, this one has less invented characters than that Link to the Past one. The art style, I just love how it looks. It's, um, I don't, I don't know, it's, I, I can't describe how or why I like this art style. I think it's very simplistic. Um, it has the expressions perfectly uh, associated with the character or um, any characters, really. And I think that the, um, illustrations of like the actual Zelda bosses that come out and you're like, oh, that's so cool, I love that boss fight, and it, it'll fit that style just in a really interesting way. The story itself for this one is great, too. I, I really like how they added extra little bits of story. Um, in particular, I remember there's a really great bit where they add a bit of story behind Volvagia, which is the um, fire dragon serpent thing you fight in one of the dungeons. And um, it's just great, adding more of that back and forth through time story element to what happened to this little dragon that, uh, in their invented story, Link had purchased as a pet in the young form, and then something happens and eventually he has to uh, kill it as one of the bosses. So, there's really, really great... I hope that wasn't a spoiler at all, it really shouldn't have been, because it's... you know Link has to kill that boss anyway, but... so. There's a lot of really cool things like that that they'll add to it that I don't mind them messing around with it too much in there because it's more of them expanding the universe, and I really enjoy that story anyway. So these two, um, I believe, were the first ones I got, and I really, really enjoyed them. And uh, canonically, I think no one will argue that the next one along the line should be Majora's Mask, which is good that the art style actually reflects the Link who showed up in the Ocarina of Time story. Um, once again, this is a really great one. I really love this one, especially because the Majora's Mask story is really uh, short. Easier to fit in one volume than Ocarina of Time is, and um, that's good. So um, I really like how this one is a cool sequel to that story. Um, it's, it's another really fun one. I really liked the Majora's Mask game when it was out, so it's really it was really cool to like, just go through the story elements of this and uh, just read it again. So this is another really cool, refreshing one. I enjoyed this one as well. Um, the writers do a really good job of taking this really huge, complex game and picking selectively what parts are important and what would make a really interesting story out of it, and then just illustrating it just beautifully based on how... <sighs> there's no word for polygony. I was trying to find a word for polygony, polygonish, you know what I mean. Uh, arts, uh, video game art style that was not highly rendered. Um, at the time it was great, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, making everything look very clear and nice looking. Oh, okay, so next one I'm grabbing here are the two Oracle comics, which I'm pretty sure I had them in a certain order behind me because, like I was saying, um, I think I put them up there in order that they should have been canonically. And um, the next ones canonically should be Ages and Seasons, and if you read the books, I believe Ages has to happen first. Something like that, but that was actually, honestly, like one of the only reasons that um, I actually put Ages in front of Seasons in my timeline. If I did that at all, I believe I did, but it really doesn't matter game-wise. So, anyway, these were um, okay. Honestly, um, I never played the games themselves, Ages or Seasons. I have them both, um, just because a friend gave them to me, and they're really old cartridges, and at this point, I don't know. 
Zelda, like I said, is having a really abusive relationship, so I'm not really a big fan of going back to wanting to read them. Um, but I did flip over to one page in particular where they introduce a character who I don't know if he is supposed to actually be in the game or not, because, like I've said before, they will add characters into these series. Um, I think his name is Raven, which, um, very funnily, was one of the reasons when I was reading this stuff that I wanted to name the main character of R. Raven, because I really liked this character that they added. And, um, to me, he seemed like he could be like a perfect fit for the Twilight Princess Link if he did not become Link, because this was on like another timeline or something like that. I forget how it actually worked, it was really convoluted, honestly, but um, this was really cool in trying to figure out how to piece those things together, and it's like a really cool what-if scenario, because certain people would still exist after a timeline has split, you know, and what would happen to them, what would actually change their lives if certain events had not occurred, so that made me think, you know, this is pretty cool, I was trying to figure out a lot of stuff, and actually because of this book, I went through a ton of effort trying to get the uh, Zelda timeline properly organized. Um, the other one, it's like a basically a sequel to it. I'm pretty sure, um, yeah, it's going through new Zelda bosses and stuff like that. It's another interesting read. I'm um, sure had I read, I mean, played the game, I would have gotten more out of it, but I still enjoyed it, so that's pretty good. So those two are um, another enjoyable pair. I'm going to kind of quick through these because, one, it's been a long time since I read them, and two, I really did like them. And I could still say that, even though Zelda has um, not done any wonders recently. So um, I think that's got to be saying something, at least coming from someone who feels like Zelda has kind of abandoned them recently, that they still really like these comics. If you're watching this video, they're like, I know there's a Zelda manga out there, but I don't know if I should read it. Is it any good? Honestly, I, I like it even though I still don't even like Zelda so much anymore. That should really tell you something. They're really good. This one, however, I think was the first one I read where I was like, eh, it's just okay. <laughs> it's just okay. Um, the Four Swords story, and this is in part one and two. Uh, I believe that that's the whole thing. So, this one was just alright. Um, it the style for the art had to change a bit, so it looked more like the cartoony links, and um, that started killing a little bit of it for me. I don't really know why, but um, each one kind of had to have its own art style anyway. I really liked how lively, and um, I don't, I don't, I still can't put words to how the Ocarina of Time illustrations just match the Zelda world perfectly in my head, how they should look. And uh, when things start getting a little too cartoony looking, it kind of kills it. Maybe that's a bit of uh, my complaint with the new Zelda anyway. But um, this story in particular, I uh, remember not really being completely fond of. Um, I played the Four Swords game, and by that I've played... Actually, I think there's two. One of them was like a side feature to like a Link to the Past game, I played that with a couple friends, but I was actually referring to the video game which was for GameCube. It's actually really fun. Um, and there is a decent amount of story in it too, and I think this is supposed to be that story. Once again, it's been a long time, don't really remember, but uh, the game I remember being really fun. I was really surprised by how fun it was, and um, this story was just... it was there. Um, and honestly, because of the super hyper cartoony looking ones, I started not getting more of the Zelda manga. That's why I don't have the rest of them. I think there's a Minish Cap. There's probably I think there's a Phantom Hourglass. I would expect there to be a Wind Waker one, but I don't think I've seen one. And um, basically, either way, all of them I just listed were the hyper cartoony link. Uh, as far as I know, there's not a Twilight Princess one, which I would have nabbed immediately. I think that might be my favorite Zelda game? I don't know. Like I said, it was a link to the past, but whatever. So, um, these I was actually really surprised at how good they were. I'll pick up the big stack here. Um, yeah, I know the whole thing's basically in reverse order from what I had before, but whatever. Oh, so, that's a lot of, uh, Zelda comics right here, and like I said, I don't even have all of it. This is all 
really surprisingly good. If you just want to try a little bit of it before you start digging into it, I would recommend the Ocarina of Time story. I was about to say Ocarina Hero because I've said it so many times in my life, I guess. Um, if you enjoyed that, grab the Majora's Mask one and then just basically go from there. Because then it's a matter of which games have you played, which ones did you enjoy. Hey, read the manga for it. So, if you haven't played the games, like I said, I haven't played um, the Oracle games, it's not that big of a deal. In fact, it's kind of a cool way to um, just kind of bust through the game, get the story gist out of it, and you'll, you'll do fine after that. Like, oh, okay, now I know what those games were. So, um, I mean, it's not a completely clear way to do it. You could check there was wikis and stuff like that if you really wanted to learn exactly what happened if you were trying to make a timeline or something like that of your own. But in terms of just reading the comics, um, you're going to get a lot out of them. I really enjoy them. So um, make sure you uh, pick up a Zelda manga if you get the chance to. And if any, I would definitely recommend the Ocarina of Time ones first because I really love the art style. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you've read any of the other Zelda mangas out there, let me know, like, hey, maybe that Minish Cap one was actually amazing, and I just completely didn't read it. There's other ones, like I said, I haven't read. Let me know if there's any other cool ones that I should really be picking up, because at this rate, like I said, oh, Zelda has abandoned me, in my opinion. I'm going to make another video on that later when I actually do my new Zelda timeline theory, but all that stuff aside, um... I think that's it. I think we're done. Is that, are we done? Are we done? I think we're done. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next comic book review video. Remember to like the videos and subscribe. I'll see you all next time.